But I don't care what Grace's silly game predicts. I'm sure that we're gonna have a baby boy. Well, as long as he or she is healthy, I'm gonna be one happy dad. <laughs> well, get ready, because I think he's gonna be here very soon. I can't wait to present you with your son. Son. Wow. That'll be something. Yeah. And I promise I'm gonna make up for all the time that you've had to spend on your own during this pregnancy, right? I promise I'm not even gonna leave you for a minute until you have the baby. Not even for one minute? Because I think my mother needs me. All right, one minute. One minute. What is it, mother? Did you come up with some new ways to spoil my baby shower? Oh, Bethy, I don't need to, Bethy Boo. <laughs> now when you go down, you're gonna do that all on your own. Because how are you planning to pass off Sheridan's baby when Louise won't leave your side till after you give birth? I so see you just, you just enjoy your little party as long as it lasts. <laughs> because it'll be the last party you'll ever have. I'm not worried about Louise, mother. Then you're an idiot. Besides being a kidnapper and a baby stealer, I just heard Louise say that he was not gonna leave your side for one minute till after you have that baby. So how are you gonna pull off the old switcheroo, huh, with Sheridan's newborn with Louise hovering over your shoulder? He has to go to work sometime. So I'll just wait till he does, and then I will slip away and have this baby. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so what happens if you can't get rid of him for a couple of days, huh? I think even Louise can tell the difference between a newborn and a baby that's a couple of days old. <laughs> so you better get going and have that baby, or your goose is good. <laughs> what do you think about that, Miss Marty Pants? <laughs> Once in your life, you may be right. I can't put off this delivery too much longer. Try the next couple of hours. You better be trading in that sack of sugar you're bellying around for a real baby, or we're all gonna wind up in that clink. I don't think. I won't be singing my heart out to the authorities for a reduced sentence. Shh. Just let me think, okay? <laughs> I've got to come up with a, a reason for Louise to leave my side long enough for me to have this baby. The only thing that would get Louise's mind off of you having a baby is Sheridan. <laughs> and you're not going to produce her. Maybe not in the flesh, but you just, you've given me an idea. <gasps> Merciful angels, please. I'm sorry. I no, didn't mean I, to do that. I really I didn't. Think, I swear it. I think it's time that Luis took up his search for his beloved again. Have you lost your mind? Oh, yeah. Yep, you've lost your cut and pick in mind. The last thing in the world you need is for Luis to go looking for Sharon because what if he finds her? And he'll know that you kidnapped her. He will know that you were planning to kill her and he will figure out that you were trying to pass her baby off as your own. Listen, I'm not the fool that you think I am, Mother. Huh. I know Sheridan is in the basement and I am not going to let Luis go down there and find her. Well, how do you plan on stopping him once he starts his, you know, house-to-house, -house, top to bottom search? I can control the situation. Oh. No, you just... just watch. Where did Antonio get to? He was just right here. Is there something there? I was just looking for Antonio. He was here a minute ago. I think uh, he's headed towards the kitchen. Oh, okay. I know where Sheridan is. What? What are you talking about? I found proof right here in this house. 